changes and see reactive protein levels over time independently predict future cardiovascular disease, future cancer and mortality in the general population. My name is Dr. Naveen Sutahar. I am a physician scientist working at the Department of Cardiology in Erasmus Medical Center Rotterdam in the Netherlands. I am the lead author of this article entitled Association of Initial and Longitudinal Changes in C-Reactive Protein with the Risk of Cardiovascular Disease, Cancer and Mortality, which will appear in the prestigious medical journal Mayo Clinic Proceedings. Firstly, I would like to thank and acknowledge all participants and co-authors for their contribution towards the study. Inflammation plays a central role in pathogenesis of multiple diseases, including cardiovascular disease and cancer. Chronic systemic inflammatory burden is usually assessed by quantifying C-reactive protein levels in blood samples using a high sensitivity assay. A single baseline CRP measurement has been associated with an increased risk for CVD and cancer. In the current study, we examined the effect of longitudinal changes in CRP on adverse clinical outcomes. For this, we pooled data from two large, well-characterized general population cohorts, the PREVENT study from the Netherlands and the Framingham Offspring study from the United States. These cohorts together had a total of over 9,000 participants with CRP measured at two time points, first measurement at baseline and second measurement approximately three years later. We evaluated two important aspects. First, which clinical correlates might be associated with greater increases in CRP over these two time periods? And second, did a repeat CRP measurement provide additional information regarding the risk of future CVD, cancer, and mortality? We found the following. First, clinical correlates associated with greater longitudinal increases in CRP levels included age, female sex, smoking, body mass index, and total cholesterol levels. Second, change in CRP was independently associated with all three outcomes, that is cardiovascular disease, cancer, and mortality. So in conclusion, longitudinal changes in CRP are associated with several traditional risk factors, as well as female sex. In turn, changes in CRP levels over time predict future cardiovascular disease, future cancer, and mortality in the community. These data suggest that periodical CRP measurements may be useful in identifying high-risk individuals from the general population. Future studies are needed to determine whether serial CRP measurements may be useful in prevention of cardiovascular disease and cancer. Thank you for listening, and if you have any questions regarding the study, please do not hesitate to contact me. We hope you found this presentation from the content of our website valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our homepage is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you'll find access to information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.